Today, we're going to see how to delete a text box in PowerPoint. I know it seems easy, but sometimes it might be very tricky. Let me show you why. This is a simple text box. I select it, I can right-click, cut it, and it will be in my memory, or I can just delete it from my keyboard and it's gone. However, it's not always as simple as that. In this slide, I can simply delete this text box by selecting it and deleting it from my keyboard. However, there are some text boxes like this one that I cannot click or select. Here, I often see users doing this, the white box to hide text boxes. Don't look at me like that. Don't tell me you've never used a white box to hide a text box in PowerPoint. Don't do that. If you can't select a text box, it's because it's not a text box, but it's a text placeholder. What does it mean? Well, you just go to View, Slide Master, and you select and delete it from your keyboard from here. In this case, the text box will completely disappear from your slide. I'm going to link a guide on the Slide Master in the description below. Finally, there are some text boxes that you can easily edit, that you can yes delete, select delete. However, you cannot move them. Why? Because they are locked. If you want to see why they're locked, just go to MLC and head towards this little button here. It's called Layers. You click it and you will open the Layers pane in PowerPoint. Now, if you click this locker, you will unlock the text box and now it's free to move. You can relock it and when you will be working, you will be ensured you won't move this by mistake. I hope this clarified your doubts and I wish you the best work with text boxes in PowerPoint.